Tēnātātou katoa, good evening. Marama Davidson has apologised to the Prime Minister but stopped short of a public apology for her comments about white men causing violence. And the Prime Minister has issued a warning to MPs. Be careful what you say to conspiracy sites like Counterspin. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch. In the heat of the moment... What's a woman? Trans women are women! Leaving the Posey Parker protest, Marama Davidson was fired up and fired back at conspiracy site Counterspin. I know who causes violence in the world. It is white cis men. Cis male means a male who identifies as the same gender they were assigned at birth. Today, more considered, standing in Parliament to say what she was trying to say on Saturday. What I was doing was pushing back on the harmful and false narrative that trans people are one of the biggest risks to women. And this is simply not True. Perpetrators of sexual violence or family violence are mostly men. Nationals leader calling for a public apology to white men. I think we need to hear from Marama Davidson now as an apology uh, to the people that she caused offence to. His former leader dropping the R word. It was wrong, racist and actually really divisive. Marama Davidson had just been hit by a motorbike and in amongst a heavily charged protest in support of the trans community when she was confronted by a counterspin. So when the far right media came to me, I was still in that charged environment as well which is why I should have taken more care with the words that I use. The conspiracy site is hosted by Calvin Alp. You bastards need to be hung. And Hannah Spera, the woman who confronted Davidson, the PM warning MPs to proceed with caution. Generally the best advice would be not to engage. Now I acknowledge that that can be very difficult when someone's right in your face like that. I think it's certainly possible that we'll see more of that kind of aggressive, uh, in-your-face sort of behaviour. The aggressive nature of some of those who protested against Posey Parker saw her ushered out by security. Scuffles continued out on the streets. But today the Prime Minister said if his schedule had allowed, he would have joined the protest. Conceptually, I would have had no issue with being there. It would have been something that I would have been proud to support. On which side? Oh, supporting our rainbow community. With tensions so high on so many fronts, especially after the occupation of Parliament, it's taking extra steps to keep staff safe, including for the first time issuing stab-proof vests to security guards. Uh, this was asked by the security officers. Uh, they wanted to feel that they were more protected. More polarised politics requiring personal protective responses.